before we dive into today's video, I just wanted to remind everybody that we're doing a giveaway at the end of the month for a G.I. Joe classified Cobra infantry figure. If you're interested in winning, all you need to do is a few simple things. First off, you need to go over to the Phantom Iconic channel and make sure that you're subscribed. Only subscribers are eligible to win. The second thing you need to do is go and find each of my Bull Reviews videos for the month of June. Go in, leave a comment, tell me your favorite toy or toy line or a, ta a toy memory, just whatever. But then also leave the words June Prize. To be eligible, you have to leave a comment on every single one of my videos for the month of June. And then, finally, you need to be in the continental U.S. Uh, shipping, unfortunately, is a bit crazy if you're going outside of the United States. So I'm limiting this only to people inside the United States. I apologize for anybody that's outside that might be interested. So, but that's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, good luck and enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to an episode of Bull Drack. My name is Bull, and I am, once again, talking about toys, of course. So... This week, uh, I am bringing you two of the newer G.I. Joe Classified line uh, releases. G.I. Joe Classified, I've mentioned this in older videos, but since I'm doing new stuff over on Fandom Iconic, I'll talk about it there a little bit. Um, I was hospitalized for about four and a half months last year, uh, 2019 to tw early 2020, and then got out of the hospital just in time for COVID to lock everything down. That was fun, but... I had gotten out of the toy collecting game for the most part back around 2010, or, yeah, 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. Uh, due to finances, due to space, due to a living situation and various other aspects. Uh, then some of my toy collection that I did still have got stolen, and I lost the joy for a long time. But while I was in the hospital... Uh, one of the things I saw was that they, Hasbro announced the new G.I. Joe Classified line. And while I was always a diehard 118th collector, these looked really, really cool. I was kind of on the fence at first, and then I started seeing some of the pictures. I saw Snake Eyes and Destro and went, okay, want. So it kind of rekindled my love and my joy of, of toys, and I was really looking forward to these coming out. And, of course, moving to the, the one. Uh, one twelfth scale, uh, the six inch figure size, that kind of led me down the rabbit hole of collecting Marvel and collecting uh, Star Wars, Black Series, and a few other things, and it's kind of gotten out of hand. And I'm trying to refocus on GI Joe again a little bit. Um, but GI Joe is really what sparked my love of the game, love of the toys again. Of course, Hasbro's on godly miserable uh, distribution system has made my life just a living hell. Um, but Target exclusives. Urgh. But we're not going to rant about those here and right now. I've done that in older videos. You can probably find them if you really try. Um, but for now, I'm going to talk about these two. These were not exclusive, so these were available uh, pretty much anywhere. Still hard to find in stores. However, you can order them online, and that is where my bread and butter is because I'm also handicapped now, so it's really hard for me to get out and go to the store very often. So I can't do the toy hunt like everybody else theoretically can. Uh, so tracking these down and finding them in the stores is miserable. Plus, I like supporting the local smaller toy stores around here. So these, like almost everything else I order anymore that I can get online, I order from Bafo Toys in Geneva, Ohio. Geneva's where I grew up, graduated high school from. Um, so that's kind of my old stomping grounds anyways. And Mike, the guy who runs it's really great guy. He's been super cool and super helpful with for me, especially with knowing my handicap and everything. So it's great that I can order the toys from him. Uh, he, he holds them when they come in for me, and then when I can make it into town, I actually go out to Geneva for doctor's appointments a couple times a month usually. So... When I'm in town, I can pick them up from them. So it's fantastic. And I finally got these in a little while, a few weeks ago now, but it's taken me a little while to get to get, get around to looking at these. But uh, if you're ever looking to shop online for toys and you want to support a, a good local small business, uh, Bafo Toys, they do ship anywhere. Uh, shipping prices are pretty reasonable, all things considered. Um... So check them out if you want. I will put a link in the 
thingy de mob thingamabob down below uh, underneath the video for you to check that out. So anyways, these are number 25 and number 26 in the Joe Line series. Um, hard to believe we've gotten that many figures so far. Uh, uh, well, technically, there's five in the middle there that we haven't gotten yet because they got delayed. Those are the Snake Eyes movies figures. Uh, I want to say I think they're like 19 through... I don't know. They're somewhere in the middle there. The Snake Eyes movie getting delayed threw a lot of stuff off, and it was really annoying. So anyways, these finally came in. Lady J and Flint. One of the power couples of the G.I. Joe line. Uh, these are really nice figures, and we'll take a look at them real quick. So we got Lady J here. And you can see Lady J is... She's very much a throwback to her old classic figure. Um, she's got the little spears uh, that she used to carry. Uh, classic, classic looking uniform. Really, really sharp. Um, a lot of the Joe, some of the early Joes kind of went a little more futuristic with uh, putting kind of Fortnite ish looking plates and armor plates and stuff on the figures and going with gold and, and, and gold highlights, silver highlights, stuff like that. Uh, some of the newer figures are kind of going back to a more muted color scheme, which is kind of nice. I didn't mind the, the, the more the, the more futuristic look to them. I kind of think that's neat. I also dig the Fortnite figures and the Fortnite designs, so that's just me. But I also love the, the classic looks for these figures. So you get that. Um, and we'll look at her accessories in a bit, but you can see them all in the window there. They got these great art. This is one of the cooler things that they've done is um, with these figures is they do these unique pieces of art for the characters. Uh... And you can see that on both si uh, on one side. You got that on the front. Uh, back's got the full poster. And this has been slowly filling out as they add new characters. And that's usually been a tease to see with some of the characters that are hopefully coming out in the future. Um, and then on the front side, we've got their eh, not great new version of the file cards. It shows their specialties. And you can look them up online to see what they do. But they've each got four specialties, and each got four ranks to them, and it, one through four, and it tells you how good they are at their various specialties. But if you look it up on Hasbro.com, uh, somewhere on there, the G.I. Joe site, they've got uh, probably G.I. Joe.com, actually. Um, it'll tell you what the file cards do, and it also gives you their background and stuff if you want them. I think it's a shame they didn't include that with the figures, though. That's kind of bummer, because the file cards were always one of the cooler things about them, but... Uh, and then over here, we've got Flint, same deal, uh, window. He's also pretty classic looking. He's a little, uh, little upgraded a little bit. He's got a shotgun. He's got the, uh, shotgun rounds mounted on his belt. He's got his beret that he can put on. Uh, really cool little figure. And then you can see down here, he's got his artwork. And you can see more of that artwork. Same on the back. His file card, so to speak, his specialties. And then let's open them up and take a look. All right, so let's take a look at Flint first here. And you can kind of see if the camera's going to focus. He's got a pretty good head sculpt. Uh, he's got this, he's got a nice scar over his eye, which I think is a new, I don't believe his old, any of his old figures had one of those. Yeah, he's got his vest. He's got the standard Joe articulation, wrists. El double elbows, double knees, butterfly joints. Uh, he's got ab crunch, but unfortunately his vest, like a lot of some of these figures, the vests block it. But, you know, what can you do? You got waist swivel. Pretty solid figure. No backpack, but he does have this, and that is a holder for his shotgun. So you can set that right in there. I think it goes in there. It does go this way. No, nope, it fits in there a little bit better. I'm not sure how he pulls that out. But he's got his little holder for his shotgun. That's one of the cool things I like about some of the new Joe stuff that they've done, too, is a lot of these figures, you can put his pistol in his holster. And a lot of the figures are set up so that you can actually put almost all of their uh, equipment on the figure itself. Which is really cool. And then he's got his little beret. And that just snaps right on. It fits on pretty snug. Doesn't come off. 
So he's pretty cool. Uh, there is one thing I know a lot of people kind of gripe about. He's got a brake action shotgun with a pump, which is a goofy design. I'm fine with it because I'm never going to be breaking the shotgun anyways. So I just, you know, look at it as a pop, pump, pump action shotgun anyways. But it is a weird design that I don't think either somebody wasn't thinking about or they need to explain that. Possibly you break it, you can put in several shells, and then instead of top-loading them or something, I don't know. It's still a goofy design. But, yeah, he's a good figure. One of the other cool things I like is they've all, like, all the Joes have this little uh, communicator thing with a little blue on it. And that's kind of a nice little detail that kind of, like, gels all the, uh, the Joes together. Sharp figure, some decent detailing on the belt. Could use a couple extra paint apps, but, you know, you get what you get. So, that's Flint. Like I said, sharp figure, good figure, fun figure. All right, and then we've got Lady J. Uh, Lady J is also really nice. She's got a really good sculpt. Like I said, she's a very much a throwback to her classic uh, outfit. So, she has a neat feature that I really like, and I wish they would do more stuff like this, is that she actually has removable hair. Bald. The neat thing is, is so that way you can put on her ball cap, which is her kind of traditional look. She came her, her original character had the uh, had the ball cap on. But then you can take it off, and so you've got her regular hair as well. And then she's got this cool little backpack with like a little little camera because she's kind of like a scout character. Uh, recon. Let's see that. So, yeah, she's got this little little camera here, and that goes on her back. And then her little camera can just, you know, boop, boop, boop little GoPro. <laughs> and then she comes with some weaponry. Uh, she can't quite mount everything on her backpack. But she's got a pretty decent, she can hold it, she's got a little gun, and the gun actually can mount a spear. Take a look at that. Uh, the spears actually have a couple of heads, you've got a spear tips, and then you've got a little grenade tip. And I'm not going to pull all of that out right away. But the gun can go in here so she can either hold it, or she has a little spear launcher. So she can hold that, put one of those on there. Um, I don't think... Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's a spot in here to put the extra heads. And then you can mount a spear on the side of her backpack like that. So I guess you can put everything on her, theoretically. As long as she's holding one of the, holding the spear gun with the spear in it. And then she's also got a little knife here. And again, I'm keeping everything in the package for the moment. So I'm just going to box her back up. Put her back in her little plastic coffin her barracks when I'm all done with this. But, yeah, she's pretty good. Uh, the female figures, again, a little skinny, but, I mean, they kind of need to be. But it does end up, it does lend themselves to a weird double elbow because they're so so thin. So the elbow always is a little weird. It doesn't want to bend quite the way it always should. And you got to be careful with it because it does want to be a little more... Uh, it, it, like I said, it doesn't want to always bend both ways. So you got to kind of be careful how you bend them. Knees aren't bad, though. They're pretty pretty standard. And like I said, she's got all the standard articulation. Good foot rocker. Uh, she's got shin swivel, thigh swivel. And these figures, they have like a drop down to their legs. So it gives them a little more articulation. Although hers... I'm looking at this particular figure. Her one drop-down leg seems to be a little out of joint slightly. That's something I'll have to keep an eye on. But yeah, she's got she's a pretty solid figure. Um, her and Flint are both great great figures, great additions to the Joe roster. And you know, I can always have them making out. Oh, Flint. Oh, oh, Lady J. But. Uh, I'll do that on my own private time, if you know what I mean. Um, 
Yeah, I'll have them fight Cobra. That's what I'll do on my private time. What were you thinking? Get your minds out of the gutter. This is a clean show. So, yes. Um, great figures. Love them. Great addition to the, uh, the G.I. Joe roster. I have got very... Honestly, there's only been... One figure that I've been kind of disappointed with so far, um, personally, and I think that's the Cobra Island Roadblock, and that's just because I don't particularly like the uh, the head, the Kimbo Slice head, as I've heard it's called. Um, not a particular fan of that. I, I like the body and the deco. Um, I think it's a good figure overall, but uh, just not a head fan of that particular head sculpt. But I can fix that with other figures. Um, in fact, I've got a Luke Cage head kicking around that needs to go on a roadblock body one of these days. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be my review of these. These are great. I love them. Highly recommend the Cobra, the, the classified line. I think they're fantastic figures. Uh, anybody who's a Joe fan should hop on those. So that's it for me. Uh, once again, I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. They help make these shows possible. I want to say thank you to Captain Crappy and Miss Fever Blister for letting me join the Fandom Iconic family and doing these videos over there. Anyways, links down below. Check them all out. And until next time, thank you for watching. Check out all the other videos on Fandom, Fandom Iconic. There's a whole bunch of different shows that they do. Most of them live stream, but you can watch them after the fact as they upload to YouTube. Um... But yeah, that's it for me. Until next time, play with your toys. Have fun. That's what they're for. Take care.